Hello, uh, today I am showing off three of my female figures. Um, I'm going to do Bayonetta, Poison Ivy, and Evil Lynn. Um, I'm going to start off with Bayonetta. She may be my favorite one, um, just because of her detail and articulation is absolutely insane. Um, you can pretty much make her do anything. I mean, her legs and, are extremely long and versatile. Um, her waist, she can turn almost all the way around. Her head, her arms, wrists, even her feet. Her feet go crazy. And of course her detail is absolutely beautiful. Um, her guns are awesome. Um, you can take her, her wings off if you want. And um, I ended up gluing the ones on to her, her heels here. Um, they wouldn't stay, so I decided to glue them. And of course she's sexy. Got her back up in there. But yeah, you can position her any way possible in your case. I mean, she's great. I like that she has glasses too. Because I wear glasses. So yeah, she's awesome. She's one of my favorite females, like I said. Uh, she's very true to the video game. I didn't I mean, I like the video game, but it's not one of my favorite video games. I didn't like how it flashed and the way it was designed. It was kind of strange sometimes. But she is awesome. Okay, next I'm going to do Poison Ivy. And they did an absolutely beautiful job on her. She is from the um, Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, the paint job on her is beautiful. Her face, her hair is perfect. And her skin is just, it's beautiful. I, I love it. She's got painted toes. I don't know if you can see that, but that's so cool. Um, her articulation isn't that great, but you don't really need it with her. You know, her arms move really well. If her head doesn't move that well, I'm afraid I might break the ball that's inside, so... I don't mess with her too much. Um, they didn't give her knee joints, which I think is cool, because that way they gave her better... It just looks better. You know, there's not all these grooves and weirdness going on. It's just a smooth, beautiful leg. You know, so I, I appreciate that. If they didn't do that. Because she stands well on her little stand, and her feet are really flat. I love her hair, how it's just like... Flowing. I mean, she's beautiful, and how they have her curved, I mean, they did a really good job. They did a really good job on all the figures, but I think she is mesmerizing. Yeah, she's cool. Next is the Masters of the Universe Classic Evil Lynn. Uh, these are the ones they redid that are absolutely awesome. She's beautiful. She moves really well. I like that. I like the purple. It's different. She looks kind of dead, which is cool. They gave really good detail on her. Really good paint job. These ones are way worth the price, I'd say. Um, she comes with an extra head. I like the classic head with the helmet, of course, but this one's cool too. You can actually see her hair. Which is cool. And they come with a, a glow in the dark ball spear to her her staff. Which I went with the classic and then she's got her dagger here. Also. But yeah, she's cool too. She moves okay. Her waist doesn't move of course. But she's equally awesome. Yeah, these are three of my females. Maybe I'll show some more later, but for now, this is what you get. See, Bernard is awesome. You can put her any way you want. <laughs> well, um, I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.